Hello everyone, today we're going to discuss if truck dispatchers can work with direct shippers. So often we hear a question, can a truck dispatcher work with direct shippers? The key question here or a key word in this question is work. What do you mean by working? Uh, let's look at a, one of the examples. For example, on load boards, direct shippers sometimes post their loads. So they want to connect directly with motor carriers. Can you call on this load? Can you book this kind of load for your client? Absolutely, there, there is no reason why you couldn't. However, could you go and directly solicit, uh, let's say, shippers um, for the cargo for the loads that they might have well that depends for example if you're just going to go to a warehouse and say hey you know what i you know i have i work with those clients and you know if you can give me some shipments i could get them moved and god forbid you also collect some sort of payments for the shipments from them and you don't have a freight broker license then you are doing something illegal and that can get you into all kinds of problems. However, if you are working for a client, okay, and let's say they want you to act in a capacity of a salesperson for them. So they want you to call, I don't know, local warehouses to let them know that you have five trucks here locally that can help them move cargo. Well, again, if you're acting on behalf of this company let's call it abc trucking and you call and say hey i am with abc trucking and we can move your cargo then again that there's nothing wrong with that because really the relationship will be between a shipper and a motor carrier you are just an employee or a contractor of that motor carrier and you're just assisting them with the process so i think you have to differentiate those things okay you cannot go and just solicit shippers uh, for loads. But if you're acting on behalf of a client who needs your assistance in this matter, and you're acting basically as a motor carrier, because motor carriers can go directly to the shippers and by doing so eliminating freight broker and freight broker fees, uh, you know, this can be done. Now, your clients will be asking these questions because they assume that they can make more money by eliminating freight brokers. And in some cases, it may be true. In other cases, it may not be true. Because a shipper who doesn't want to use a freight broker and is seeking directly uh, a motor carrier is basically trying to do the same thing. They want to eliminate the commission and they want to pay less to transport their cargo. So it doesn't necessarily, and sometimes they don't know what the rates are. So they may be on a lower end of the rates than, than you would normally see on the market on the load boards because there is no one to advise them to tell them, look, this is unrealistic. This is too low. Nobody is going to move it. So once again, let's differentiate. If you are trying to solicit shippers as on your own, as an individual, as a truck dispatcher, as whoever, without a freight broker license, that's going to be a problem. If you are working with direct shippers on behalf of a motor carrier, as motor carrier's contractor employee, then there shouldn't be a problem because you are not really a party to this transaction. You are working for someone who is. So I hope this clarifies the relationship between direct shippers and truck dispatchers. If you have any other questions, you can post them below. And with all that being said, we are going to wrap up this video and I will see you next time.